If you'd like to know how to style your long legs and short torso, stay tuned for today's video. Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am the Style Coach. This channel is all about personal style and personal development, so if that is your thing, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and join the community here. You can also find me over on Instagram at thestylecoach.ie or you can sign up for my newsletter over at my website, thestylecoach.ie. If you haven't heard yet, I have a brand new online course starting 31st of January. It's on special offer right now. I'll leave the link down below. You can find out more. So let's get started with today's video. It's all about playing with proportions and styling long legs and a short torso. I've done a video on the opposite of that, so long torso and short legs, so I'll link that up above here. But we're talking about the long legs, short torso proportions today. There's a few things that you want to consider if this is you. Like in so many other of my videos, especially on body shape, my question for you, the very first thing I ask you and I ask my clients is, what is it you're trying to achieve with your body shape? If you've watched my other video on long torso, short legs, you'll know that in most cases, people are actually trying to achieve a look of longer legs and shorter torsos. So in which case you already have this, but what do you do with it once you have it? That's the next thing we're gonna tackle. I'm gonna start with what you should not do. And that is to try to create equal proportions in terms of your long legs and your shorter torso. You might be trying to lengthen the torso so that it's in more equal proportions to your long legs. And that will give you more of a one-to-one -one ratio. If you've watched my other videos on the rule of thirds, then you'll know that creating this kind of one-to-one -one ratio, in other words, cutting yourself in half, is not actually visually pleasing in terms of aesthetics. If we look at design and in art, in photography, in any kind of architecture even, we see the rule of thirds at play in all of these things. That is what is most visually pleasing and this applies to your outfits as well. So what you don't want to do is cut yourself in half and create those one-to-one -one proportions. If you do create one-to-one -one proportions, it looks kind of not very well thought through, not very well styled. So we want to elevate that a little bit and move away from having, you know, a long shirt that kind of occupies the upper half of the body and then equal proportions on the lower half of the body. You are in luck because your body is already proportioned in one third on top, two thirds on the bottom if your legs are long and your torso is shorter. So what you want to be aiming to do is maintaining these proportions. So what do you need to do? In terms of your clothes on the upper half of the body, you wanna make sure that your tops are only occupying the upper half of the body down to the waistline where it will then meet the top of your trousers. In this way, you're maintaining that one third on top, two thirds on the lower half. If you do have longer tops, longer jumpers, a simple way to offset this is to do a little French tuck. So that means tucking in your top or your blouse into the front of your jeans, or indeed you could do it to the side of the jeans if you're a little bit conscious of that tummy area. When we think about your trousers or skirts, a mid-rise is probably going to be quite good for you. So a mid-rise will still give you that length in your legs without taking away from it. You could go for a high-rise as well, but we wanna make sure that we are always maintaining that length in the leg and not cutting yourself off by going for a low-rise jean. When you think about jackets as well, a crop style is going to look great for you. Now you can go beyond the simple um, top and trousers and think about going for layers on top of that. So in other words, you could go for a jumper that is tucked into your jeans so that occupies one third of the body. Then you've got your jeans or your trousers that occupy the two thirds of the body, so that's really nice proportions. 
Then you might think about going for a coat that goes over the top of your outfit. In this case, you can start to play around with your proportions and go for a longer coat while still giving a sneak peek by having the coat unbuttoned so we can still see those one third, two thirds proportions, but we can layer on a coat now, which now occupies two thirds on the upper half, one third on the lower half. So the key here is managing those thirds and getting really familiar with the technique of layering. That is going to be key, especially in these colder weather times when you need to be thinking about layering up. Let's talk for a minute about where you would shop for a short torso, longer legs. We need to take into consideration your height here. You probably are familiar that in certain shops you have a petite section, you have a tall section, and then you have a section that fits the average height in terms of the average height in the fashion industry. But what people don't realize is that even if you are an average height person, so let's say that's somewhere between five foot four to five foot eight, that you can actually shop in the petite section, in the tall section, depending on your proportions. If you have a shorter torso, you could do well by shopping in the petite section because the waistline is gonna work better for you than it does in the regular sections. Likewise, you might be better off shopping in the tall section for your trousers. So it's worthwhile considering not just how you style your body, but where you shop for it as well. Tall doesn't mean you have to be tall in order to shop there, and petite doesn't mean you have to be petite to shop there. So that's just another little thing to consider for your proportions. If we look at this picture here of the lady in the green dress, we can see that in terms of her height, her upper body occupies a smaller proportion compared to the waistline down. So she has already got these long legs and a shorter torso. These proportions work really well for her and this dress is a really great fit for her because it tucks in neatly on the waistline under the bust and then the length of the dress is the two thirds on the lower half. So she's really optimizing her figure here. If we now look at a picture of me who actually has a longer torso and shorter legs, you can see how my upper body is occupying more space in terms of my overall body length. So when you look in the mirror, what do you see? Do you see a, a short waist? In other words, a short torso? Or do you see equal proportions? Or do you see longer legs? What is it you see? The next question is, how do you want to style your body? Now, when it comes to body shape, and we've taken a look at the vertical proportions, that's only a small picture of the overall thing that's going on here because we haven't taken into consideration your body shape, uh, we haven't taken into consideration your favorite parts of your body, your least favorite part, and these all contribute to how you will dress. So all of these videos that I'm doing here are giving you little snippets of information about how to best style your body. This is why I do in-depth body shape consultations because I often see people commenting under my videos saying, these are my measurements, what body shape am I, how should I dress? It's not as easy as that. That's why there's so many videos on this topic. There's confusion around it and rightly so. So if you're curious about, you know, get it, really getting to know your body shape, how to dress it, please do get in touch. For now, I hope that cleared up some of the uh, confusion around dressing a shorter torso and longer legs. If you have any questions, please do make sure to put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as well. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done not so already and I will see you again next week. Take care.